Bay marks one year since a 13-year-old girl was stabbed to death by another 13-year-old, a girl who she once called a friend. Only Local 12's Luke Jones was on hand this afternoon as her family marked the occasion. He's live tonight outside of the juvenile court, and Luke, the case against her killer continues to play out. Exactly. The teen suspect who we're choosing not to identify will be back here in court May 3rd for a discovery motion, a full 13 months after the murder. And it could be many more months before a trial date is set. But that day can't come soon enough for Nayara Gibbons' family. A life-size cutout of Nayara Gibbons stands alone in the courtyard where Nayara once stood and where one year ago today she tragically died. Uh, speechless deal. Nayara had gotten into a fight with this girl, a former friend, outside her home in the Winton Terrace apartments. At some point, the other girl pulled a knife out and cut Nayara's neck. She died at the hospital. One, two, three. We love you. Love you. Nayara's family is marking the year since her passing with balloons. Balloons shaped like stars, like the star her siblings say... Nayara was. She had my back, Esther, and I love her and I miss her. But she watching you. She watching you, okay? But a whole year later, Nayara's family is still watching as the case moves forward against the girl accused of stabbing her. I just want justice for my baby. You know, it's, it's hard. Something like can't sleep. Something nice. Can't eat. Something nice. You know, it's just, it's just hard. And harder still when those so new to life have to learn the meaning of death. Even my kid, when they see the pictures, they always say, that's my cousin and she dead. And that's nothing that little bitty babies should run around and say at the age three, four, five years old. And you know, one thing still deeply troubling to that family, each and every day having to walk past the site where Nayara was murdered. They tell me they're looking around and trying to find another place to live, but so far haven't been able to. We're live downtown tonight. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. Our thoughts are with that family. Thank you, Luke. And last year, Hamilton County set a new record for juvenile violence. At least 13 were charged with murder.